Get ready for a thrilling recap of some of the most interesting and important topics related to money and finance. From the history of money to the impact of complex economic systems, we've got it all covered. Whether you're a seasoned finance professional or simply interested in learning more about the world of money, this recap is sure to captivate your attention and provide valuable insights. So sit back, relax, and get ready to explore the fascinating world of money and finance. It all started when someone realized that trading goods like chickens or goats was just too darn complicated. Can you imagine trying to buy a house with a dozen chickens? No thank you, ma'am. So they decided to come up with something smaller and easier to carry around, and that's how money was born. But it wasn't just any money, oh no. It had to be something that people agreed had value. And what did they come up with? Shiny rocks. Yes, you heard that right. They thought that rocks that sparkled in the sun were worth something. So people started collecting these shiny rocks and using them to buy other things. And before you knew it, some folks got really good at finding these rocks and selling them for a profit. They became the first rock stars of the financial world, if you will. But then things got even crazier. People started printing paper with fancy designs and numbers on them and called it money too. Now you could carry around a bunch of paper and buy anything you wanted. Of course, you had to trust that the paper was worth something, but hey, it was easier than carrying around a sack of shiny rocks. And that's how money was made. It all started with some shiny rocks and a bunch of paper with fancy designs. But really, the people who made the most money were the ones who convinced others that their shiny rocks or fancy paper were worth a lot. It's all about persuasion, my friends. The concept of money has been around for thousands of years, so it's difficult to pinpoint which country had it first. However, some of the earliest forms of money can be traced back to ancient civilizations in Mesopotamia, China, and Egypt. In Mesopotamia, around 1400 BC, people used clay tablets as a form of accounting, recording transactions and debts between individuals. In China, around 1000 BC, cowrie shells were used as a form of currency. And in ancient Egypt, around 2000 BC, gold and silver were used as a means of exchange. As trade between civilizations increased, the use of money became more widespread. Merchants needed a universal medium of exchange that could be easily transported and recognized, which led to the development of coins. The first coins were minted in Lydia, modern-day Turkey, around 600 BC, and were made of electrum, a natural alloy of gold and silver. Over time, different countries and civilizations developed their own forms of money, including paper currency, checks, and digital currencies. The use of money became essential to global trade and commerce, and it continues to play a vital role in our modern economy. So, it's not really a matter of one country overtaking the world with money, but rather a gradual evolution of currency and exchange that has taken place over thousands of years. A lot has changed since people first started using money. Here are a few major changes that have taken place. The way we do business, the use of money has revolutionized the way people do business. Instead of relying solely on bartering or trading goods and services, people can now buy and sell using a universally recognized medium of exchange. The growth of global trade, the use of money has made it possible for people to trade with each other across vast distances and different cultures. This has led to the growth of international trade and commerce. The rise of banks and financial institutions, as people began to accumulate wealth in the form of money, they needed a safe place to store it. This led to the rise of banks and other financial institutions that offer services like loans, investment opportunities, and savings accounts. The development of complex economic systems, money has enabled the development of complex economic systems, including capitalism, socialism, and communism. These systems have had a profound impact on the way societies are organized and how resources are distributed. The impact on social relationships, the use of money has also had an impact on social relationships. People are no longer dependent on family or community ties to meet their basic needs, and this has changed the way we interact with each other and form social bonds. Overall, the use of money has had a profound impact on human society and has been a driving force behind many of the changes that have taken place over the course of history. Money is a complex and multifaceted concept that plays a vital role in our modern economy. Here are a few things that are important to know about money. Money is a medium of exchange. Money is a universally recognized medium of exchange that can be used to buy goods and services. It serves as a convenient way to facilitate trade and commerce. Money has value because we believe it does. The value of money is not intrinsic, but rather is based on our collective belief that it has value. We agree to accept money in exchange for goods and services because we believe we can use it to buy other things we need or want. Money comes in different forms. Money can take many different forms, including coins, paper currency, digital currency, and even commodities like gold or silver. 
Different countries and cultures have their own currencies and forms of money. The supply of money is controlled by central banks. In most countries, the supply of money is controlled by a central bank, which manages the money supply to control inflation and promote economic growth. Money can be a source of power and inequality. The distribution of wealth and power in society is closely tied to the distribution of money. Those who have more money often have more power and influence, while those with less money may struggle to meet their basic needs. The use of money can have environmental and social impacts, the pursuit of wealth and profit can have negative environmental and social impacts such as resource depletion, pollution, and social inequality. As such, it is important to consider the ethical and social implications of our use of money. Overall, money is a complex and multifaceted concept that has a significant impact on our daily lives and the functioning of our economy. We hope that this recap has provided you with a deeper understanding and appreciation of the role that money plays in our lives and society. From its early origins in ancient civilizations to its modern-day uses in global trade and commerce, money has played a central role in shaping our world. As we continue to navigate the complex economic systems and financial challenges of the 21st century, it is important to stay informed and engage with these issues. We encourage you to keep exploring and learning about the fascinating world of money and finance, and to stay curious about the ways in which money shapes our lives and the world around us.